So when people say the achievement gap, what do they really mean? What do they really mean? And so what I'd like to offer you is, is a couple of ways to think about this achievement gap in a more productive way, right? So um, and I don't think that it's people's ability to achieve or a gap in their achievement. I think there are opportunities um, that, that folks are missing. And so I think there's an opportunity gap, not necessarily an achievement gap. And so we'll, we'll start out with this, this basic premise. What is the achievement gap, right? And there's some frameworks that I like to think about. So first is the illusion of knowledge. So oftentimes we think we know things that we don't really know, right? So if all the pieces of your computer, your phone, um, your television were placed on a table and you were asked to put it back together in working order, I wonder how many of us could do that, right? But we will, we would say we know how to work our TV, how to work our telephone, how to work our, uh, our computer, when in fact, we don't really know, right? So this idea of illusion of knowledge. And then we'll talk about this idea of paradigms. And paradigms are simply the way you see the world. And the way you see the world have, has greatly been influenced by all of the context that you've come from and all the people around you who've given you information about that particular context. We'll then talk a little bit about unconscious bias, what it is, how do we master it, how do we get rid of it, and how do we not allow it to infect our system so that it becomes implicit bias. But we'll we'll talk more about that. And we'll talk about a couple of versions of, of unconscious bias. One is selective attention, which simply is my, my mind can only pay attention to so many things. And so it is selective about what it pays attention to. So my brain will pay attention to the things that are most important to me, uh, even if it's in my uh, subconscious, the things that are most important to my subconscious. Um, and then we'll talk about the Pygmalion effect, right? Or the Rosenthal effect, which is um, people rise and fall to the level of expectation. So when we talk about this achievement gap or opportunity gap, is it possible that, that, that people are rising or falling to the level of expectation. And then lastly, we'll talk about the Dunning and Kruger effect, which is typically, or, or the concept that people who uh, are underperformers um, lack the, the skill to recognize that they are underperformers. Hence, they've, they're very verbose and confident in their skill, but they have no fruit associated with that, right? So, so there's this, the, 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 this idea of false superiority that comes out of this Dunning and Kruger effect. And so when we think about uh, this achievement gap, I really want us to think about it in terms of an opportunity gap. And so how do we close that gap in opportunity? We start to, to think about these things in, um, in different ways, in productive ways as we move forward together.